Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> Shh, my kids are sleeping. I'm super excited to be scrutinizing another video for you today. But first, make sure you subscribe and mash that notification button so you never miss a Swing Dance reaction video ever again. Today, it looks like we are going to Winter Jump 2020. We're going to be watching a solo demonstration by Katia and Ricard to the saxophone of Lars Frank. I'm really excited to look at this footage. I don't know what to expect, but I'm sure it's going to be good. He's one of my favorite dancers right now. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I will be telling you the absolute truth about how I feel about their performance. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. All right, let's get into this. I'm super excited. Man, I... I've been really enjoying Ricard's dancing lately. Oh, so many different levels. I, I just, I'll talk a lot about it later, but I'm really, really enjoying it. And I haven't seen Katya dance in uh, a long time. In fact, I think it was when, uh, maybe a few years ago, possibly, but I really like her style. It's very, like, silky and elegant. So it's interesting to see uh, how this combination is going to work, and I'm curious to see what's going to happen. And it looks like they got the saxophone. Oh, great song. Ah, oh, this is very mature. This is very mature dancing, guys. I say that word mature because uh, typically I'm really hard on the leaders. Simply because a lot of times leaders just move too much or too quickly. And they don't get enough time sometimes just to wait and learn about who they're dancing with in a very controlled fashion, and they are actually doing this well. Yes. That head nod, I like that. I like to call that that Yannacone, that head thing. I love that. This is great. I feel like I'm watching the Cosby Show. <laughs> when they start breaking away and doing that, that's what it reminds me of the old '80s sitcom. foot touch that was really clever I think the audience appreciated that too sometimes you just have those moments where it just clicks
Yes! Man, this saxophone player, Lars Frank, man, that made me feel something. Oh, yes! And this is Mr. Lars Frank! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, man, let's talk about this. I gotta tell you guys, when I hear a good saxophone player, it makes me happy. It is, it is very rare to have uh, modern day saxophone players touch me in a way that uh, is equal or more than the older original generation of saxophone players from like swing era, like Ben Webster and Lester Young. Those, there's just a level of pain that those guys are transmitting into those instruments that I don't think can be correlated with today's uh, modern life. Uh, not to say we don't have pain in our lives today, but I will say that it's just a different level um, th that they had back then as opposed to today. And I guess you're, you're, you're only... Um, I think it's interesting because when musicians play, it's a piece of them. It's a piece of them, and, and it's hard to fake you when you're playing instruments. And so I, I felt Lars on that one. I felt... Uh, his countenance, I felt what a piece of him, and I think that's, I don't know, I think that the instrument of the saxophone does that for me, that it just evokes so much deep emotion and groaning, stuff that I can't really articulate. Um, and many times I hear songs that have the saxophone in it, and I might hear the song one time, and there might be a riff in, inside of it that makes me uh, remember something about the song, and I may never hear that song again, but I'm humming this melody that is probably not the actual thing that I heard, but it's just some type of thing that, you know, billowed out of me from what I heard initially. And I create this reoccurring song in my head that may not even actually be the real song. I think that's how powerful the saxophone is for me in transmitting uh, emotion and uh, in a resonating way where it just stays with me. So, man, big props to Lars. That was powerful. I gotta figure out where he's from, and I love if they've got music, you guys. Please let me know um, if this is if he's got his own CD or something, or if he's just playing with his band tonight because that was moving. Now I will say uh, this was a little interesting. This took me by surprise. I'm a little dis. I'm a little. Uh, I liked it, but I'm a little just off put by it. There's there's something about the tempo that I didn't like uh, for. Ricard. I really like Ricard's dancing and I didn't notice it, it until now that the tempo, this tempo did not suit him well for this particular performance. Now I will say for Katya, this matched her normal disposition, this elegance and the silky smooth movement that's very um, just present. It's very present in the moment where you know, there's not too much of a quick movement. I get it for her dancing. I could see the, the feeling um, that matched. And I could feel it. it. It matched perfectly. Now, I will say, if they had a different instrument, I even think it could have possibly fit Ricard a little bit more. I don't know if it was just the saxophone that, was, that didn't connect well with me in terms of what I know his strengths are. <coughs> But I may, I may attribute it to the tempo because I like both of these dancers <clears throat> and I like their contributions. It's just that when I saw this, this little improv, I felt that it was off-putting a little bit. Something wasn't quite right. And I think I could say, again, it might have been the tempo because I felt Ricard, I didn't get a chance to see him really dance a lot with Katya. I felt it was more... Um, trying to get a reaction from the crowd by doing like silly things and that's cool too usually that's fine when there's like a lot of people doing different things and no one's being silly you always got to have someone to break out and do some of the old moves but I felt in this one that that's they were doing that and it just didn't simply fit I was like is this serious is this is this going to be like it's like when a movie gets the tone wrong you know what I mean? It's like I see a, a movie that's trying to be like a funny Marvel movie and then sometimes it, it gets serious and then you're just like, whoa, he just stabbed someone. The person's dead. This is covering my kid's eyes. <laughs> that's what I felt like it was like. And this, there's these certain mixes that don't 
work when, when the tone's not right. And I think this is what I feel when I watch this particular performance. And I don't like that feeling. I don't like that I didn't enjoy it as much as I was looking forward to it. But you know, guys, I tell you the truth how, how I feel about it. This is just how I'm perceiving and trying to articulate it. There was just something off about the tempo with the saxophone. Now, all of those elements I like separately, but in this particular case, they did not work together with the talent on the dance floor, with the talent that was playing music. I think that it was more a better fit for Katya and the saxophone player. Maybe she was doing some kind of solo thing. I would have probably liked it more. But I think it was with Ricard. It wasn't even his dancing that was a problem. I just think that it didn't fit for this tempo. And particularly, I think that he would have been a better fit for maybe the clarinet. Possibly the clarinet. That's just me, guys. What do you think about this footage? I liked it, but I didn't like it. It's just a weird thing. You know, I got to be honest about what I'm feeling, the emotions. And that's my initial reaction to this performance. What did you guys think? Do you like what they were doing? Do you like their, their outfits? Do you like their moves? Do you like the solo stuff? Am I completely off? Did you see something I didn't see? Let me know, guys. Don't forget, this is my house. So you're not just coming in here with all your friends picketing in my front yard. No, you get to make a comment about what I told you to make a comment about, which is what they're doing. And if I find it logical and, and fair and not like circular reasoning or profanity, I might share it with all the rest of my friends that are here at my house on my channel watching. So make sure you're logical and pithy and uh, reasonable, guys, when you're sharing your opinion about other people's dancing. Because we're not just talking about dancing here. We're talking about people's feelings. Okay? All right. So be sensitive to that. If you guys aren't social dancing yet, you need to social dance and change your life. There is a learning curve that you will adapt to in swing dancing that will change your life. You're going to get a new job, probably find a new couple or get a girlfriend a new boyfriend everything changes once you get on this maturation journey of fixing yourself a little bit and going to apply it a little bit and then fixing yourself a little more and that whole process is what most people do when they're in school you know in college they have to do that but swing dancing is just a i call it a personal development program with like fun attached to it <laughs> you get to lose weight food tastes better because you're so hungry after dancing you, you've just got so much fatigue in your body because you've danced all night so sleep is better everything is enriched by this dance i'm not talking about the culture and all that that, that just just dance just dance or play an instrument and i'm telling you it will change your life now um if you guys want to learn how to do it it's pretty simple but it's not it's it's simple but it's not easy and if it was easy everybody would do it it's very deceiving the way it looks is more complicated than what it really is so i've taken the time to deconstruct what lindy hop really could be for you if you want to start from the very beginning and not you know take years to get good at it you can get good at it in months it's just that simple so check out my fundamentals membership it will give you the power to think like a master dancer and get all the tools you need right now so that you can be a master dancer in seed form and everything else will be up to you. You can go out and social dance and you'll be able to fix yourself. If you guys want to get a taste of what it's like being a part of our Street Smart Swing community, we are at hard work here. We got a home studio next door and we're creating new content every single week, new moves, not just same stuff over and over. We're creating stuff to get you guys fired up about your unique mark in the Lindy Hop community. Everybody, if you are contributing to the music or the dance, has something to say that's unique. Make sure you're respectful to the art form um, and make sure that you guys are working hard because it's a lot of fun if you do it. Now, if I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.